guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking onto this video, and please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Okay, so today I'm doing something really different for my channel, and something I've never really done before. I am a little nervous because, not like it's controversial, but like, in the makeup community, it's like frowned upon. So, my secret confession today is that I have been using these bad boys. These are the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics lipsticks. Now, mine definitely arrived effective. Like, I had hairs in them, there was little air bubbles, all of the things people were reporting, mine did have. But for whatever reason, I don't know why, I decided to use them anyway. And what I have to say about them is I'm in love with these lipsticks. It's my guilty pleasure. I never list it in any of my product descriptions because I'm so terrified that someone will just be like, why are you using those? Like you could get sick. Honestly, I've been using them since I got them and I've been completely fine. I got the trio. So in this trio was three. This was going, I believe for $45 US. I don't remember exactly, but uh, this had Sophia, Perfectionist, and that girl in it. And I. I can't even tell you how much I love these shades. I think they're so beautiful. Now, I never, ever, ever wear them on their own. They're always paired with a lip liner and a lipstick usually. Um, but what I love about them is, I don't know if you guys wear a lot of matte lipsticks. I personally do because there was that whole matte craze where like everybody was buying just so many mattes and I ended up with like 30 Kylie lip kits. And I love my Kylie lip kits and I love wearing them. But what I notice now is I very much don't like the way matte lipsticks look. I feel like they're very dry looking. It makes my lips look like butthole lips, okay? I'm just gonna be honest, put it out there. I usually, when I put one of those on now, I grab one of these, any one really. Like if I want it to be way lighter in the center, I'll grab that girl. But I usually grab one of these and I just like lightly dab within inside my lip. And it makes, it adds moisture because these are not like a matte matte formula. Like they're not super glossy either, but they're not matte at all. So what I do is I take these and I kind of dot it in the middle of my lips and it creates a beautiful plump ombre type effect on my lip that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I pair this with every single color in my collection, one of these, and it honestly works with everything that I own. It was pretty scary for me to use them, like I was a little nervous at first. Um, I posted actually a Twitter post about it and so many people wrote underneath, "Hun, be careful, like don't use these, like we, we've read so many bad things about them, but after she came out on her website and she said, I took them to five specific labs, got them tested and they were completely fine. I was really not that worried. To be honest, I think this whole thing was completely blown out of proportion. It was a huge scandal that I don't really think was that necessary. Yes, I agree that we felt swindled. Yes, she rushed everything. Yes, the product handling could have been better, but it was, a kind of nice formula like it's it's nice to use I, I love it I always have one in my bag with me and I mean I'm, I'm like ashamed to say that I used it so I went to this bachelorette party for one of the activities of the bachelorette party what we were doing was going to bite beauty like a lab here in Toronto we actually have one downtown where you can go and sign up and create your own lipsticks and that's what we did and when I was there somebody asked me like what's on your lips and I said actually it's one of the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks and they looked at me like like they had seen a ghost they're like no way like can we see it like are the things true about it and like yeah it did arrive like that i pushed past it i used it anyway and i really 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 love them and i think that with canceled culture and all the way that people like this mob mentality people have like yes yes we like she she did mess up there but i think that we went in a little too hard on her i actually to be completely honest with you bought a mystery box from jeffree star cosmetics one of the summer edition ones and it what the lipstick that came actually uh, i believe it was mannequin or celebrity skin it was celebrity skin it actually had a hair on it so maybe this is an issue that's a lot more common than we're than we're thinking that it is and we just never really looked for it before maybe it wasn't as prominent as with this specific case with the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks but the truth is I use them I like them I'm scared to admit it but I thought Maybe other people do too. Maybe other people purchase it like I did. Like I was so rushed and I was trying so hard on my laptop like to grab these uh, before they sold out and I was so happy that I got them. So 
honestly, I think that it was all a lot of hype and like kind of buying into the hatred of it. I think putting it under a microscope was crazy. I love Rob Beauty Christie and I'm a giant fan of hers, but I do think she took it a little bit too far. And yeah, that is my secret confession. I absolutely love these Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics lipsticks. I probably will buy more products that she puts out and I would probably like without hesitation buy them. Like I, I know I should be more cautious and that she lies to her audience and all that stuff. But like in the end, I really end up liking the products that she makes minus that vault collection. I didn't even buy that. So I can't really speak to that. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. I know it was a little different, but I thought why not put it out there. Uh, please don't forget to like, leave me a comment down below, let me know what you want to see next. And please don't forget to subscribe, it really helps me out when you guys subscribe. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye!